Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something that a lot of cosplayers use, which is contact lenses. Contact lenses are super great for enlargement of the eye or change of color, or it's just a tiny detail that to some cosplayer it means a lot. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to research on your lenses. I have three favorite websites that I personally like to shop from, which is Pinky Paradise, Oh My Kitty, and, and Honey Color, which of course I'm going to link in the description below. Not sponsored. From time to time, just looking at the models on the picture of the websites isn't really super accurate. So what I like to do is to either scroll in the button to see if there are any other customers who put out a preview. If there's nothing like that, I usually tend to search in Google. There's a lot of bloggers out there who reviews. Also, YouTube is a great tool for that. Yes. The first thing I always look for is comfort because I really want my lenses to be comfortable to wear. Thing number two, if you're so lucky that there are multiple people who have been reviewing these lenses, I would look for the person who has the same kind of eye color shade is as yourself because lenses often look very different from when you are having dark eye color or light eye color. And that's how I research on my contact lenses. Step number two is when do I open my newly arrived contact lenses. The most tempting thing in the entire world is as soon as you get the package with your lenses, you just want to plug them in your eyes and try them out right away. I wouldn't recommend you to do that though, not because it's dangerous or anything, though, but it's just very nice to take a precaution. So what I like to do is to open the bottle about 24 hours before I'm going to use it. Then I'm going to put my contact lenses in the case that I either receive or that I already have. It needs to be a clean case, I'll talk about that later. I never use the liquid that is in the container, that's only for containment and not for popping in your eyes. So that's why you need something that can clean the lenses a little bit, such as this beauty. Then your lenses is inside and you will have to wait for 24 hours to make sure that your lenses are properly clean. It's always struggling. It's like putting on an alarm, like when is 24 hours done? Just sitting there waiting for the alarm to go off because I need my new lenses, I need to try them. <sighs> it's a battle every time. And as soon as 24 hours is done, you can pop in your contact lenses and look as damn cute as you can. So the next part I'm going to talk about is this amazing liquid for your lenses. You can get this amazing liquid at an optiker. What you need to make sure of when you're having this liquid is that it is actually an inspiration date, which means that this will expire. And as soon as it expires, the same thing with your lenses, even though it doesn't hurt and it's fine. Throw it out. It's no use anymore and it can hurt your eyes, so don't take that risk, it's stupid, it doesn't even cost that much. So what you do before wearing the lenses itself, you start out with washing your hands and make sure you don't have a towel that will leave itself on you. Take the lenses out of the container, place them in a palm, put a little bit of the liquid and drop it until it's overflowing the lens a little bit and there we go. Well, the next part is very important. And I know there's a lot of cosplayers who doesn't listen to this part because they need to look nice and pretty all the time when you're wearing cosplay and I understand that but your eyes are even more important. First of all, don't wear your lenses for more than six or eight hours. Really, even though they're not bothering you or it doesn't hurt, take them out as soon as it's been that long. If your eyes are getting tired, if your eyes are getting very red or very dry and the lenses get stuck every new place every time you blink, or if it's bothering you, and even more important, if it starts to hurt, take out those goddamn lenses. It is not worth it. If your lenses are no more nice to wear, take them out. Please, before leaving, always double check that you have your lens case with you. And if you, like me, are using glasses, remember to take your glasses, because then they won't be an excuse that I don't have my glasses, so I can't take out my lenses, because then I will be blind. It's not worth it to walk around with lenses that hurts so much. It will damage your eyes. Trust me, I have read tons of stories about that and I'm sure you have too. So the next part is how to take out your lenses and what to do with them. If you're new to the whole lens world, welcome. And also practice this at home before leaving for the convention and it's a good idea to practice this multiple times. Getting the lenses out can sometimes be even more scarier than put them in. I think so. Heavily circle lenses are thicker than regular lenses, so they're a lot easier to get hold of. If you have a hard time getting your lenses out, 
You can use some eye drops, which you can also get at your optical. Before popping your lenses in your case, I always like to clean the lenses the same way as I did before. Even though the liquid in the lens case might be new, I like to empty it and put in some new before putting down your lenses in the case and make sure that you tidy it up. Every time before I'm wearing my lenses, I always change the liquid 24 hours before I'm using it. And that is pretty much no matter what. So how will you know when your lenses are no longer of use? So the list, if your lenses are dry, if they are broken, if they have a miscoloring, if they hurt, and if they're out of date, get rid of them. Whenever you're ordering lenses from, for example, Pinot Paradise, you will get these cute little animal kind of cases, which is super, super adorable, but also they're not very good with your lenses because they're not tight enough, so the liquid will disappear very fast. Instead, you can get cases like these. I know they're not as cute or pretty, but they're a lot better for your lenses. They can contain the liquid a lot better. That's my experience anyway. You can get these at the optic. The reason why I like these lens cases much better than these cute little animal ones is that these boring ones are a lot better keeping liquids in. As an example, you can see that these lenses have dried out while the last pair is quite fresh. I changed the liquid at the same time. If the lenses are dry, I know it can be very tempting to just put in some liquid and hope that it will smoothen the lenses up a little bit. No, get rid of them. If your lenses are broken, you can see there's rift in them or they're missing a piece. Always make sure to check that before putting them in your eyes because trust me, it's it hurts like crazy and it will damage your eyes. So this is the last part, which is how to make sure that your lens case is clean because your lens cases need to be as clean as your hands and as your lenses because they of course contain your lenses in it. How to clean them is super simple. First of all, you never use water. You simply just put in some of the liquid lenses and fill it all up. If your hands are totally clean, you can rub it a little and you empty it out and then you put it upside down for it to dry. And as soon as they dry, you can put in your lenses and there you go. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can use this video for something at least. If you like this video, remember to give a thumbs up and comment down below if there is anything you would like me to cover or if I forgot anything or just want to say that my parents' cat is so cute. If you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to see more from me. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys are doing well and um, awkward waving because that's how I do it. <laughs> Bye!